Hey, what's up guys? Worldwide here tonight with another new video. Now I'm going to try to do something different here, something that I've been meaning to do for quite a while. But what I'm going to attempt to do is I'm going to show you some pro player darts that cost a little bit of money and I'm going to try to give you a cheaper alternative. So we're going to start with the Haro's Glenn Durant dart. Now that is also very similar to the Target Dave Chisnell dart which is also similar to the original. This is the guy that started it all, the Eric Bristow, Haro's Eric Bristow dart. So many people have copied this design. It's an awesome design. I played with this dart for a while. And that is also similar to the, well, this is the new, um, what the hell is this one? I forgot. Oh, Tony O'Shea. So yeah, this is also similar to the Tony O'Shea dart, but uh, his older one is more similar to the previous three that I showed you. This one, the rings are a little different. But anyway, that leads me to... Darts Clarence. He has some amazing deals. He's in the UK and he ships all over the world. But anyway, he has these darts. And check out the price there. Nine pounds, which is, I don't know, converts to about 12 or $13 American. Totally identical to the four darts that I just showed you. And if not identical, pretty damn close. But anyway, there is your first alternative. And I have a few more. <laughs> How come I got a feeling I'm going to get some dart companies upset by making this video? But anyway, so next up we got the, the Winmod Jeff Smith darts that were just released. The 23 gram DNA darts, 28 pounds, which is about, I don't know, 36, 37 US dollars. Nice dart. Check this out. That compares to the No Door Peacock darts, I guess they're called. Same exact thing. And there's one difference. There's one ring that's different. But the actual dimensions, uh, the length, the width, totally identical. So there's another one, guys. If you like Jeff Smith darts and you want to try something cheaper, a cheaper alternative, you can go with the No Door darts, which that's about 25 That converts to $25 US. So, I don't know, you're saving 12 bucks. Makes a difference. Anyway, on to the next one. Okay, guys, here's one that's been featured on my channel quite a bit, and I've actually used this dart for a few months on end. Well, not this exact dart, but it's cheaper alternative. But these are the XQ Max Michael Van Gerwen darts, 21 grams. They come in at 32 pounds, which is about 42 US dollars. And the darts that are a cheaper alternative are the McKix Premium Mighty Grip darts, 21 grams. And you see they come in a little under 23 pounds, which that converts to 29 US dollars. But if you remove the black paint here, you have an identical dart. So I've done a lot of testing on this. I've done a lot of research and I actually believe, I firmly believe that this is the actual dart that Michael Van Gerwen uses, an old McKix dart. But anyway, there is a total cheap alternative to the XQ Max darts. All right, switching over to darts corner for the next set of darts, we have the Phil Taylor Phase 1 Purist darts. And I think we could all agree that these are probably the most popular selling dart of all time. I don't really have any facts to back that up with, but it's right up there. I mean, I can't imagine another dart selling more than these ones. It's been around, it's been around forever. But anyway, as you can see, it's 27 pounds. That's, that equates to about 36, 37 US dollars. And if you want to check these out to compare them to, these are the Designa Dark Thunder series darts. And check that out. That grip is pretty much identical, except for the fact that it goes all the way back, which I think is a kind of a, uh, I don't know, that's a bonus added feature, right? But anyway, those are very similar. The dimensions are all pretty much the same. Tungsten com content is the same. And check that out, <laughs> quite a bit cheaper. So if you ever wanted to try the Phil Taylor Purist darts, I would start with these. Very good alternative there. Up next are the Raymond Van Barneveld Unicorn Darts Phase 1. And as you can see, those come with a pretty hefty price tag. And checking them out, pretty much it's just a ring dart. It has like a little micro groove to it, but uh, just a ring dart with a smooth spot in the middle. Going over to Pure Darts, they have a Pure Darts Classics 90% dart. And it's pretty much, it doesn't have the like the fine micro grip rings to it, but um, the design, very, very similar. And there's actually quite a few other designs that are similar to the Barney Phase 1. I think Red Dragon has a Rebel Dart that's close. And I know that No Door has a few designs that are very similar as well. But I mean, look at the price difference. You're saving 20 or $30 there. So quite a big difference. And that's a great cheaper alternative if you ever wanted to try the Barney Dart. And up next, we have the Phil Taylor Unicorn Phase 5 darts. Now, these are just a crazy popular dart. He's, you know, they've probably sold so many of these. But as you see, man, these come with a huge price tag. Very expensive. But if we go over to Showtime darts, they have a Neo Bomb dart. And check out that price. I mean, it's like one third the price. So if you ever felt like you wanted to experiment with a Phil Taylor Phase 5 dart, you don't want to shell out the money right away, definitely worth checking these out. And I think there's a few other dart companies that 
have a similar design to the Phil Taylor Phase 5 dart, but these uh, Showtime Neo Bombs are definitely a good starting point. So that's a great alternative there and super cheap. And the last one that I got for you guys today is the Martin Adams. See how the rings are? It's like a really small multi-ring dart. Super nice dart. And if you check out the price, they were 29 pounds, pretty expensive. Now down to 20 pounds on sale, which actually that's actually a really good deal over at A180. But anyway, we have the Martin Adams dart. And those actually compare to the Wes Newton darts from Unicorn. Just a small little multi-ring dart. All the rings are pretty close together. And the Wes Newton darts, those are pretty expensive too. 27 pounds on sale. But the best alternative, guys, and I've used this dart for quite a while myself. Over on Pure Darts, they have a 90% multi-ring dart. And check that out. 10 pounds, that's US, excluding VAT. So that's, I don't know, $13, something like that. So 12 pounds for the UK folks. But look at that. Nearly identical multi-ring dart to the Wes Newton and the Wolfie martin adams dart but this is an awesome dart it's just a great alternative it's a good starting point if someone really wants to venture into you know shooting with darts like that like the martin adams and the wes newton this is a great starting point and you really don't have to spend a lot of money but anyway guys let me know what you think of the video and if there's any other ones that you can think of please leave a comment below and feel free to add links or whatever so we know what the hell you're talking about and we'll see you on the next video guys later